life policies. This is a slightly different adjustment from that in admission. <clears throat> Why do we have life policies? In a partnership firm, either each partner may have an individual policy or a joint life policy on all the lives of the partners. One policy, a joint policy is taken on the lives of all the partners together. The purpose for this is to provide funds in case of retirement of a partner or on the death of a partner. When a partner retires or when a partner dies, his share of capital, his share of reserves, some amount needs to be repaid to the retiring partner or to the executors of the dead partner. What are the accounting entries? What kinds of policies do we have? What are the accounting entries? Let us discuss. <clears throat> so there could be a joint life policy. That is one policy on the lives of all partners. If any one partner dies, the policy matures. If any one partner dies, the policy matures. Or you have a single life policy. That is, each partner has a policy. A policy is taken for the life of each partner separately. Mind you, whether it's a joint life policy or a single life policy, when we are talking of life policies in a partnership for the, it is a, the premium which is paid, premium which is paid for the insurance premium paid for the life policies is an expense of the partnership firm, met by the partnership firm. The purpose, like I said before, is to provide for funds on the death or retirement of a partner. Single life policy, there may be, if there are three partners, there may be three policies. Objective is to provide funds. What are the terms we need to know with this? One is premium. What is premium? Premium is the amount that we have to pay annually. What happens in case of a life insurance policy? If we take a single policy, if we take out a policy for say 20 lakhs, maybe we pay, pay a premium, yearly premium of say 10,000 rupees. So every year we have an expense of 10,000 rupees, maybe for the next 10 years or for the or 15 years. If <clears throat> on the expiry of this 10 years or 15 years, the policy would mature, we would get a sum of 20 lakhs. Or before the expiry of the term, if the partner dies, the partner on whose life the policy is taken dies or any one of the partners dies in case of a joint life policy, then the policy matures and 20 lakhs lump sum would be received by us. So premium becomes an annual expense. Every year it needs to be paid. We have another term called the surrender value. What is the surrender value? If in the first year we have paid 10,000 rupees, <coughs> First year, normally the surrender value is nil, which means what is a surrender value? If we decide to discontinue a policy, if we decide to discontinue a policy and don't pay for the premiums, we surrender, then what we get from the insurance company is called the surrender value. Usually, in the first year, there is no surrender value. If you have paid only one premium and then want to discontinue the policy, the insurance company is not going to refund any amount. In this, From the second year onwards, the surrender values would be lower in the initial years and a little higher as the years pass by. <clears throat> So, surrender value is the value that we would get for the policy if we stop paying the premiums and surrender the policy to the insurance company. And what is maturity? A policy matures either, a life policy will mature either on the death of the person or on the expiry of the specified period for which the policy was taken. 
So if we take a life policy for 20 years, at the end of 20 years, it will mature. What is mature? If the policy is taken for 20 lakhs, at the end of 20 years, we will get this 20 lakh of rupees. We will get 20 lakhs of rupees on maturity, that is on the expiry of the period. However, if death occurs before these 20 years, then the policy matures on death and this amount of 20 lakhs would be received. So these are some terms we need to remember in connection with life policies. What are the accounting treatments? There are actually three methods. One is to treat the premium as expense. We shall discuss in detail all three methods. Another is to keep an asset account, joint life policy account asset and show it always at surrender value. Show it at surrender value. And the third method is similar to the first method except that along with a joint life policy account, we also have a joint life policy reserve account. <coughs> So there could be a joint life policy or single life policies. What is the objective? Like we said, objective is to provide for funds. So what happens on the death of a partner? Now we get this 20 lakhs of rupees. With this, we are able to settle the account of the partner, the dead partner. We have to repay his capital. We have to repay his share of reserve, his share of goodwill, his share of a revaluation of the assets and liabilities. Since all these have to be given, suddenly that amount of funds we require and this is provided through the life policies. Money to be handed over to the executors or to the retiring partner in case of retirement. We have discussed the terms of premium, surrender value and maturity and accounting treatment now. Let us understand in detail what would be the accounting treatment. The premium method, JLP method, JLP and reserve method. What does this mean? 